Okay, question three um, is asking us about the properties of, of shapes, particularly quadrilaterals. But I think before we try this question, it's worth having a quick look at some more of the family of shapes you can get from quadrilaterals. So here we go, we've got a diagram. We start with quadrilaterals at the top, and that's any shape with four sides. And then as we go down, we've got kind of got the family tree of quadrilaterals. So let's have a look. We've got a parallelogram, which is a particular one, where the top and bottom sides are parallel and equal, and the left and right sides are parallel and equal. Okay, and then a special version of the parallelogram is a right angle, which is the same as the parallelogram, it just has 90 degrees in the corners, just here and here. Okay, and a rhombus is a special parallelogram because it's got the opposite sides of parallel here and here, but in this case they're all the same, and we denote that by uh, a little mark. We can denote they're all the same by just putting a little mark on it like that, and that tells us all the same. On this one, on the parallelogram, we know the top and bottom are the same, and the left and right are the same, but they're not all the same as each other. And we also know in a rectangle we've got 90 degrees in the corners, right angles. And at the bottom we've got square, which is kind of like a special rhombus and a special rectangle. It's a special rectangle because it's got all 90 degrees, and it's a special rhombus. Um, well, it's got all 90 degrees, sorry, for the rectangle, but actually all well, the sides are the same too. And for the rhombus, it's got all the same sides, but it doesn't have the same angles, whereas a square has both of them. It has the 90 degrees in the corner and all equal sides. So let's go ahead and we'll refer back to this diagram. And you can have a look at down the trapezium and down the kite route as well. Oh, too far. All the sides are equal and so are the angles. All the sides are equal and so are the angles. All the sides are equal. It's not a kite or a delta or a trapezium here. Can't be a parallelogram. Not all equal. Can't be a rectangle. So it's either a square rhombus. These have got the same sides. only the square has equal angles too. So the only possible answer in here is square. It has two pairs of equal sides but only one line of symmetry. Two pairs of equal sides. So look. This has got two pairs of equal sides, top and bottom, left and right. So is this, so is this, so is this. But also, so is the kite. This one up here are equal, those two are equal, and so are these two down here. So we've got lots of options here. Let's go back. Two pairs of equal sides, but only one line of symmetry. So only one mirror line. Let's have a look. Well, the rhombus we could cut. Mmm. We can't cut really anyway. It looks like we can cut it down here, but we can't quite. If we cut across that bit, it's not going to quite meet up with that bit. So that one's out. We can't do the same here, because if we try and fold this over, this point is going to be pointing up there. It will mess up, so we can't do that one. A square has got one... It's got a line of symmetry. Let's get a pen. It's got a line of symmetry down the middle. Oh, it's not quite lined up, is it? And it's also got a line of symmetry across, but it's also got a line of symmetry diagonally and diagonally. So that's four, so it definitely can't be that one. And a rectangle has got down the middle and across, so it can't be that one. So the only one that's got one line of symmetry, the same on the left and on the right in this case, is a kite. So that's what we've got to put in here. Okay.